A St. Louis public school system in turmoil and under internal investigation as the district fights just to get children to school in less than two weeks. Fox file investigator Chris Hayes spoke to the Board of Education's vice president about the inquiry into what went wrong. St. Louis schools begin classes August 19th as the district is in turmoil with a superintendent on leave after just one year on the job and an internal investigation into her alleged questionable hires and high salaries. Here's board vice president Matt Davis. We took very quick action in terms of having this independent audit to begin looking into these transactions and also took some personnel actions against people in the administration. Former Chief Communications Officer Phoenix Jackson is one of the hires being looked at. She started at the district July 1st for a $200,000 yearly salary. She's already reportedly left the district. One of the things that the uh, audit will be looking into is in terms of uh, salary ranges that may have been set without the knowledge of the Board of Education. Davis said the audit should have preliminary results in a few weeks, and it will also look at what the board could do better. You do have to put some trust in the administrators that you hire. And so if we were guilty of anything, we've put trust in administrators um, because you don't want to micromanage a superintendent. We're not educators. Meanwhile, parents worry, like Javia Pruitt, whose child starts school for the first time later this month. And it's really not showing that there is much care in the system right now. Uh, if it's just about the money and they're on paid leaves and, and things like that, it, it kind of concerns me. I'm starting I'm putting my baby in school, you know. Davis hopes audit findings will answer how to get back on track, but he says taxpayers should know that reports about the district spending is not all bad news. A lot of the headlines have really been disturbing. They've also kind of been inaccurate. What's important to know is the district is not in a dire financial situation. What's been left out a lot of the story is that we started the year with a very large fund balance, almost $200 million, which is the result of a lot of federal pandemic funds, and we're trying to spend that down. For things like classroom materials, iPads and laptops for every student, which is new for the district, he says. Pending audits, including one by the state auditor, will follow that money trail. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes. <laughs>